Hey everyone, I'm Clue, and welcome back to So Dungeon 2, where we're continuing our challenge and we're on to Dimension 3. So, quick overview. Well, actually, is there anything I need to, to do? I think we left off, I could just go straight. Straight to the portal. I think I was tempted to farm, but you know, we'll, we'll go to Dimension 3. All right, so basically, underneath me, right there, right, unique challenge. Only use one of anything, must beat a Primal Lands boss every dimension. So, one of everything, or anything, is basically exactly what it says. I can only use one of each class, one of each item, one of each trinket, accessory, however you want to frame it. And it makes it surprisingly more difficult, right? Especially figuring out the comp and just doing stuff efficiently and well, in a timely fashion. And then the Primal Lands in itself, right? Who yeah, hasn't just gone to the Warriors Dimension and then stomped it with a max setup, right? So it's, it's nice to actually tackle it and it's actually kind of a challenge. All right. But starting off Dimension 3, we can basically turn in our quests, get some starting cash, which is definitely nice, and unlock our classes, because until I have six, I can't actually run a full comp. And since we only have a K, I'm not... I'll do it anyway. I was gonna say I'm not really wanting to unlock it, right? Because I don't know if we'll run out of gold hiring. There we go, we've got four different people. We're missing the miner, right? And that's all one, two, three, four, yeah. So right now our max comp is, is only five people, which is bad in itself, right? And we don't really have much healing. I mean, the mystic damage is definitely nice, but it would be great if we could start off with some healing stones or anything. Not that you can. So away we go. I don't even think we have, we have a bottle. So we might as well just do that or something. But thanks to the relics, we do have some decent damage. I am gonna pump their HP a little bit. All right, that should be nice. Things should get a little bit quicker from here on out, but we'll have to see. We do have a script going. Our script so far is this, right? Basic healing, basic AOE, and then the status effects, which come in real handy for bosses. Other than that, it is just time to progress. So I'm just gonna let go and see how far we get. Oh, well, this is the Primal Lands. You know what, this is probably worthwhile. Not worthwhile. That kind of screws me. So it's set to the Primal Lands because the Primal Lands is the last thing I did. Now I have no gold which means I can barely hire, right? I can really just barely hire. So we went from a full five party to now two people. Fantastic. Go back to the castle. So you can't go further in the Primal Lands than you have gone in the castle. So for instance, we have to get to 300 now, but I only want to get to 200 anyway. Anyway, I'm going to do this the slow way then. So off I go. And that should do it. So thanks to our two party, we made it to 26, not that you can see. Got a little bit of gold, enough to at least hire the full five again, but hopefully that should be a little better. The nice thing is though, we do get equipment, and I should be able to, if you stop on, perfect, buy a healing stone, which is definitely nice. So we do want all the unique equipment we don't have, but I'm going to hire first so I don't run out of money. One, two, three, four, and we're just missing the carpenter, who is going to make us sink a ton of our gold again. All right, what can we what can we buy? Not really much. Is there anything we can craft? We can make the ring. I guess that's slightly better stats, but other than that, not much. Right now, we don't have enough gold for a sword. Fantastic. So healing wise, right? Nurse has healing inbuilt. Miner next up because they do the least amount of damage. They actually have higher damage, but then the the carpenter has their own spell, and I'm sure eventually we'll get the so junkie unlock. Now the ring, I might as well put on the mystic. Yeah. All right, so it's still gonna be somewhat slow, but we should be able to get a little bit farther now that we actually have a proper comp. And we should have the cast damage of the actual Mystic putting in work. Well, we're still one-shotting, so it's fine. Yeah, okay, so I should be able to get decently far now. Yeah, so even without equipment, significantly better having the full comp, right? I did get a lucky healing fairy, but we've made all the way to 100 already, right? Got some juicy gold, which means I can unlock a full party, and then the thief will end up racking us up more gold. So we'll see how far we can get, but it shouldn't be much longer, I would assume. But this is actually kind of important, right? We're actually finding some gold. Now, I can't remember when it unlocks, but the Adventurer's Guild is really impactful because not only is there decent unlocks, not that we can get to them, right, until we get to the Warrior Dimension, but we get, uh, I think it's, I want to say 500, but I feel like 500 is also a bit too much. We get a ton of essence for completing the quests to actually build the Adventurer's Guild, and you need, I think it's five gold for that which is kind of hard to come by unless you get to the very later dimensions. So it is nice to see some early gold. We're still trucking along, we're out of MP. So probably another 10 floors-ish, if not. Uh, if we get a healing fairy, I guess we can probably go further, but we should start losing some people probably. The miner can't keep up with the healing. Well, look at that, we get lucky. 
So this will allow us to go for a while longer, which is definitely nice, right? Although it would be better with some more damage. I do have a ton of keys. I should really, I should really be grabbing some other, you know, bonus chests, warps. Warps are probably decent, right? If we're just trying to go for speed. Not too bad. We managed to get to 136, some levels. Same with the pets. Quest complete. That's good for the next dimension. But 8.4k and some good items. That's probably the more impactful thing. Don't need to worry about the ruby, although we are going to Primal Land, so it's actually kind of nice to get that done early. Let's see what there is to buy. So we definitely want armor. Again, I'm not too worried about the cash, so I'm going to buy anything that's unique. Crafting-wise, I do want the frying pan, right? So we can get some food built up. Seal shield, sure, sounds good. Armor-wise, I need the magic essence, which we don't have. Looks like we can't actually craft much of anything else. I would like the silver necklace, but I don't think we've found any silver. I suppose I can do this way. Yeah, no, no silver. All right, so we can grab ourselves the thieves, right? Huntress is coming up. We probably won't end up using the Huntress. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure we could probably get everything done just with the six that we have right now. There's the thief. There's the miner. Who are we missing? The carpenter. Oh, there's one. Perfect. All right, this should be the Adventurer's Guild, I believe. Yeah, a 300. Split the difference, right? I said 500. It's 300. Still super impactful. But you do need a hefty amount of gold. Yeah, five, right? Everything else, easy enough, right? Especially if you farm and you have item drop, it's just the gold. I mean, I'd love if we could get four more before this dimension's over. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I will handle equipment. Not too many full slots, but still better than nothing. We are at the point, since we have the HP Relic, where equipment really drops off. Weapons still are kind of necessary, right? The amount is more comparable, because I think, I mean, here we can look at the relics, right? So you get two attack per point versus five HP. So six, they're significantly different, right? You need three levels to equal one level of HP. So the HP Relic definitely makes equipment obsolete, and there's not really stuff outside of like the gold shield that really helps early game, right? Because at the late game, you have all the, the mythics that, you know, increase ore find, increase iron find, get you credits, get you this, get you that, versus everything now that is just stats. And again, we outscale the stats pretty heavily. So yeah, we want more weapons basically is what I'm trying to say. I don't think we can actually make a rapier. You know what? I will, right? One extra weapon, probably better than that. And you can have, no, you can have the wooden sword and you can have the bottle, right? Still no duplicates, good. We'd also start doing the primal lands, doing a few floors, right? Try and get the equipment from there, which is kind of nice. I think I want to progress. No, you know, it's probably better to go back and forth, actually, thinking about it. Another one in HP, and we'll probably hold off and continue to boost attack, right? Because attack is just going to be more impactful. Yeah, I think I will start grinding up primal lands. 90, 90 is where we made it. The, the boss actually really put me through a ringer. Stunned and then took two turns. So that was not nice, but we got some okay stuff. I was hoping for a skull blade, right? Because I'm pretty sure everything shifted down a hundred-ish, right, from the castle. But we didn't get any. But we got some some okay loot. We can upgrade attack. It's probably worthwhile to go back to the castle for a little bit. High first, always high first, so we don't run out of cash. But I'm hoping we can craft some goodies. Who am I missing? Carpter. Always the carpter. Done. Can I use? I can use yours, but it's always a ridiculous cost, isn't it? Yeah, 20k. Yeah, we're not at that point. But we do have some better craftables now, right? I, I feel like I'm meant to buy the Mysterious Seeds whenever I can. Assassin's Dagger is definitely an upgrade. We have Darkwing Shield. We have Clovers now. Other than that, we could try and craft. I mean, I can craft the Ruby for the quests. God, they cost 250. That's also another thing that you never really rationalize. These early on cost a huge amount, so never mind. Although I guess some of the the items are actually nice. Maybe I should try fishing. Hmm. Anyway, equipment. Okay, not looking too bad. I do kind of want to sell the excess. Ah, it's also nice to turn into him because I don't want to click the quest prompt because then I have to turn to everything else. Now, liquidate. I do want to make use of this. So sell all of your items except up that. I mean, if they're equipped, I should feel okay about doing this, I want to say. Hopefully I'm not wrong, right? So there's no more duplicates, which means I can go ahead, I can buy blue crystals. So six, it's three per, uh, buy two more, right? That's, that's all the weapons, I believe. 
quickly I did the math, right? Six by three, yeah. Again, because of the HP, I'm not gonna focus on upgrading that. Is it worth going for 60? How much is 60? So 10 is 750, so we can almost get to 60. We can get to 60. Yeah, you know what? We will. We'll double invest on the attack upgrade, because again, it is a lot more impactful than the HP. And let's try and, I guess, progress the castle, right? Could probably do 200. Not quite at the boss yet, I want to say. Okay, first run in. Another goal, so that's nice. Not as far as I'd like. We got to 170 in total, only 40-ish floors. Run two, not much better. <laughs> Hardly any floors, we've only just made it to 200. And I'm not even sure if we can get 200 done. I'm gonna say no, we're not gonna have the damage. It's a bit unfortunate. Uh, I'm really not lucky into healing fairies, right? I have the keys, but I'm not being able to refresh our, our casts, which is what's really impacting things. The regen on the Mystic finally is actually super good because and a Skull Blade, that's fantastic. So the regen really helps with Torment, right? Being able to cast that over and over again is just such a boost to overall damage. So hopefully the next one goes a little bit better. So the equipment's a little bit better now, right? So Skull Blade, I've given the Thief the, the ring, so they have extra MP. I should probably put it on the Mystic at some point, but they don't have enough regen for it to work out, right? Once you get to level 15, I want to say, is when you get infinite mana in terms of both using Torment and the Skull Bash. So until then, the ring on the Thief. But hopefully it helps out just enough to actually get through this now. Not a horrible pace. We're doing about 20 floors every run. We are losing because of no healing fairies. I did get one early on, which replenished mana, but not really at the point where it was necessary, right? The uh, the Carpenter, no, not Carpenter, the Thief triggered it because they had the, the Skull Bash. Another, another rare, at least it's some damage up. That's nice. We can also probably start buying the Kitchen. I'm actually, in thinking about it, tempted to buy the Huntress, right? Because I completely forgot about Soul Bond. <laughs> I don't think that's ever been really relevant, but yeah, so for each enemy defeated, deal high damage to that same type. Now, I can't remember if in Soul Dungeon 2 it was just static, right? Because I know there's like a little collection book that forms. I might think about it for the next dimension, but now we'll just continue grinding away because it, it won't take too long, right? As we keep getting equipment, as we keep getting essence, I'm probably saving for the attack, yeah, because the attack overall just is a higher boost. Anyway, I'm gonna, I guess, just grind away until I get to the boss. Right, boss time. I want to say lobster from memory. I think we should be okay as long as we do land the burn. It's always, it always just comes down to whether or not we land the burn. Fortunately, we don't have the poison. Otherwise, it's just auto hits, try for the burn. Actually, I should have used nailed it. That was kind of wrong. Come on. Oh, never mind. We're out of MP. Well, I'm just going to leave it on auto. I feel like we have enough damage though to get this done, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Everyone else is two hits, so we're doing about 200. Oh, plus we have healing, so it's not so bad. You know what, the healing was not worth it. Uh, yeah, okay. As long as this doesn't do as much as I'm thinking, perfect. We're, we got it done. So now we just have to clear the primal lands. It should be fun. I can't remember what the 200 boss there is, but I'm assuming it, we don't have to worry too much about status effects. Probably be a little bit slow since Delirium is now in play. And that just completely shuts down your runs. You need so much more HP than obviously damage output. But anyway, I will grind that out now. So, fairly high damage, a lot of bad, bad sense effects. I've got this stun too in this little foresty place. It's definitely slow, right? But we got 30 floors done, right? And we're almost at the boss. Anything good for sale? Nope. All right, so I'll see you at the boss. Okay. Thunder, so I'm guessing just high damage. I know there's the time slot one that's really bad, but like usual, we suspect there's nothing to worry about. So that is not a good start. Don't be a high. Oh, 134. This might take a little bit. And 67 on the normal attack. Okay, so the normal attack's not so bad, but there's no way with 4k HP we're doing this without actually getting the status effect. You know, the turn around as well. Not so bad since we can go back, but yeah, the thunder is definitely, definitely a nightmare. We have some gold to spend though, so maybe we can look into some, some upgrades. I'd like to get withering. Withering would definitely really help, but our best bet is probably just finding the items more so than anything. How many are we at? We're at six, so four more and we can make a shovel for item find. That's kind of nice. I think our cash just has to go to upgrades. 
Don't need the furnace yet, it's no use. Uh, we did get some more gold. I'm gonna do this before I forget. Turn one into a bar, I'll leave one as ore, right? That way they both come with us, thanks to the just level one bag resourcefulness because it always rounds up. And then kitchen upgrade. We do not have light lands. That is, that is not good to see. Okay, can't even upgrade HP. Well, I'm just gonna throw my head against it until we KO it, I guess. Okay, take two. I slightly messed up the equipment. I thought the nurse was in slot one, so the equipment's reversed, but poison. Yes, all right, that's step one. Step two, burn. No, okay. So poison should be some okay damage. Uh, I'm gonna just try and reapply it every time. Burn, nope, burn, nope. Oh, I think we've got it. I think he's low enough. One more chance. Yes, burn. Okay, we definitely have it done. All right, well, the AOE could still get us, but three turns should be enough for that for the tick damage to do the work. Yeah, definitely here. Yeah. Come on. Thank God, 720. All right, so that is this dimension cleared. It's good. I think the strategy going forward, I can progress to 300. I mean, we might as well do this room with a little bit extra gold. I don't think we can go further than that. But yeah, the strategy going forward is probably going to be the chef which I also need to level up, which is a little bit annoying. But we need pancakes anyway. Sorry, not, oh, I forget, they're all, they're all in here anyway. Right, so skip the 10K, skip, well, I guess the AOE is kind of good, but 100K, right, just try and rush to the chef because we really need to level him up because the experience is going to come in handy and then also just the, the mass dino egg damage that he can do will definitely be our way forward of, of KOing bosses. But another dimension down, on to four. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.